Hello, I'm Jenna with Present Path Tarot, and today I want to share with you a collective reading for everyone today. What do you, we all need to hear right now? I'm using the Dark Mansion Tarot, a new deck from Poland that's really beautiful and fun. It's vibrant and has a very cartoonish, movie-like sort of playfulness to it that I really love. And I highly recommend that you check out my other video that shows the Dark Mansion Tarot in full detail if you want to look closely at any of these cards. So we start out with the Three of Pentacles, and diagonally across, we can flash the Three of Wands. So threes are the numbers we're at in some ways right now. Threes are very much a beginner card. It's getting ourselves back out there again, and the Three of Pentacles is all about putting your resume out, applying yourself, and giving, putting yourself out into the world again in a way, but slowly and carefully and with thought. Um, being that it's a pentacle earth card, it's very grounded and practical about how it's going about doing that. It's connected to the devil card, and the devil card is about attachments. I'm guessing that many of us have attachments to our old self and how we presented before, maybe in a job that we liked to um, speak of ourselves as. And we have to let go of some of that ego as we put ourselves out there again. You might have to look for a new job in a different field. You might need to um, put yourself out there in a different way than you did before. And um, let go of the attachments you had to your old self. Let, you, let, let yourself grasp the transformation and change that we've gone through in these last few months. And the Devil card is just a lot about that ego holding on to us, and we need to let go of that and just accept that this is a change we have to experience right now. Next in line is the Six of Cups, which is a nostalgia card, and she's with the King of Pentacles. So as we're putting ourselves out there, we need to also consider how we're reflecting on our past self. Think of yourself in a good daydreamy way down memory lane. I'm a Cancerian, and so I really love just dipping into photo albums and thinking about how I've grown and how people around me have evolved. This is a card of really letting yourself feel your heart around your past and reflecting on how your past informs your present situation. Being grounded and practical sometimes includes thinking about where you've been and how you overcame challenges in your past and how you've evolved and thinking about where you want to be going. And I think that we have a nice combo here to both be grounded and reflective at the same time while we're putting ourselves out in the world again. And luckily we have the Wheel of Fortune, again diagonally two major arcana cards, so we're moving forward into a state of continual change, but things should get better soon. Some of my astrologer friends have told me that the fall things are supposed to lighten up a bit again. Hallelujah. Praise be. And um, this card is connected to the Three of Wands, which is a card of magnetically making plans towards that which you're drawn to. So again, both putting yourself out there kind of cards, and this one's a little bit more about planning from an energetic place looking at where you want to go and how you want to get there and when you want to start. You can begin making plans even though we we kind of know that we're going to be in this same system of, of sheltering and, and some limitations on what we're doing, but that doesn't, that with that perspective you can begin planning what you want to be doing with your future. Everything doesn't have to be on pause constantly. Move forward. Um, and that's why this is all about putting yourself out there with a sense of joy that you can become more than you were before um, or different than you were before and explore new sides of yourself. We're all beginners in a sense right now as we put ourselves out there. With that makes sense to have these three shadow cards. So we have the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Wands and the Temperance card flanked uh, by them. The Temperance card is about integrating two parts of yourself. So let's say we're integrating our Knight of Wands, who's a very active, passionate, forward-moving person, but who can be a little haphazard and just winding things a lot and go off on one direction without much sense of um, anything but zest with the Queen of Swords, who can be a little bit um, more thoughtful and puts a lot of intellect into her choices and knows how to cut through BS, but she also can be a little bit controlling and a little bit limited.
So how can you integrate these two characters into yourself in a balanced way so that you can be both thoughtful and considerate and really um, logical and at the same time um, put yourself forward and move through change and take action on things a little more confidently than normal. And um, with that, the Temperance card is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's about adultification. It's integrating your old self and your new self into a more mature self. And um, it has an angel moving water between two vessels. Um, in India, they, they do that with chai to bring the sugar and the chai together. So it's that kind of like making one beverage out of two, your old self and your new self. Another set of cards that came up as a sort of um, more tender warning, I would say, is the Queen of Pentacles is a very practical woman. And she's with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So you need to look at how your sorrow and pain that you've suffered in these last few months, maybe the year of 2020, has created stories that might not fully empower you. The stories we tell ourselves design who we are and who we can become. So I want you to consider how you can empower yourself with what you've challenged, what challenges you faced this year. How you can own your own best interest for the future by seeing how you are a hero who has overcome challenges rather than a victim who has been sideswiped. I know it might feel like being sideswiped and perhaps that's a legitimate story, but is that going to serve you in a practical way? So the Queen of Pentacles, you know, with the King of Pentacles over there, they're both telling us to be very practical in how we engage with both our past and our future, how we are um, designing the story of ourselves in a way that serves us in a practical way. I hope this reading helped each of you today. I love reading cards. If you like the Dark Mansion Tarot, check out my other um, video where I show all the, de the, the cards of it one by one, the flip through. And um, if you'd like a reading of your own instead of a collective reading, please go to presentpathtarot.com and sign up with me. I'm doing Zoom readings for anywhere in the world right now. Um, I also hope that you'll consider how you can um, learn the cards yourself and feel free to contact me to study the cards with me as well. I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope this reading serves you on your best path forward to navigate to your best life. Thank you for listening.